So, right, so in the first part of the series I was trying to explain a bit uh, what we're trying to achieve and why without going into technical details. Uh, in the second part I then uh, show some of the documentation and the mm -hmm. tools you need to acquire in order to do the, uh, uh, the process of classification. Uh, in this case, well, what we're trying to actually achieve is the uh, uh, is a classifier, a real-time classifier, that's going to allow us to uh, tag or to highlight some parts of an image, uh, matching a certain, you know, certain set of features, visual features. Um, so if you've, you haven't watched the first couple of parts, obviously it's not going to make sense now, but uh, I'm assuming you've seen them before. So we have two tools that I mentioned before, OpenCV, create samples, we've got uh, so we create cascade now. Create cascade. Uh, that's going to allow us to. Uh, uh, sorry, the train cascade is the is the one that's that's going to be used to uh, to train to train a classifier. And create samples gives us a variety of images, which form the uh, examples that are really the true um, representations of the object of interest. It might be a logo of a company. It might be something like uh, faces of different cars, which have some common characteristics to them. Uh, open, open create samples is a very interesting tool in the sense that it's very versatile. It can either accept, and I'll show you the command line argument, it can either accept the uh, file name uh, with, with a collection of images and a uh, description of the location of, of things in them. Uh, or uh, it can actually contain a, uh, a, a single file, just a, a file name, and it's going to create variations in lighting and position and things like that, rotation, whatever, to make a more robust classifier which takes into account all of these variations in the, uh, in the scenes. Uh, so the first thing we have to do is to create some samples. Now, the way we'd use it, as you can see here, are several arguments being passed to it. You only have to worry about the first few. You've got info, image, if in case we have an image and not really an info file, and vector is the is the file name onto which we're going to uh, put the data because that's a for that's a that's basically a file formatted in a way that's that's going to be useful later. Uh, and BG is the background in, uh, background file name because we need some uh, back background images as well. So uh, and these are the arguments we care about. I'm going to show an example to explain how this is being done. <laughs> 